you know that there has been a war in the Congo going on for over 20 years over their resources? This has happened many times before. Let's go back in history to when Leopold of Belgium gained control of the Congo and sucked out all of their resources for Belgium's gain and gave nothing back to the Congolese people. As a matter of fact, he had the mining resources for him for absolutely free long after slavery was abolished and he ordered their arms to be chopped off if they did not produce to his standards. Then when he was removed as the ruler of the Congo for his cruel behavior, Belgium took over. They weren't chopping off their limbs, but the Congolese people were still treated harshly and forced to produce minerals for European gain. Again, nothing was put back into the Congo. Fast forward 40 years, the Congo was finally independent and its prime minister, Patrice Lumumba, one of Congo's own people, was now in charge. He actually advocated for the Congo and his people and he treated them both with Care. He was beginning to decolonize the Congo, but less than a year later, he was assassinated by Belgian and Congolese forces, including a corrupt leader named Mobutu. They were backed by the United Nations and the United States. These people have been suffering for centuries over their rich resources. Prior to European interference, the Congo was a kingdom that thrived, and now, due to European greed and corrupt leaders, it is a war zone. The Congo produces resources like tin and tantalum, which is what is used to create phones, copper and cobalt, which is used to create Teslas, and other conflict minerals like gold, zinc, silver, germanium, and many more. Because of that, hundreds of people have been dying every day for 20 years straight. The death toll is equivalent to that of 9-11 occurring for 360 days straight and the Holocaust doubled. Thousands of women are raped on the daily, yet we don't hear anything about it. All we hear about is Israel and Palestine, as well as the wars in Syria, which has made front pages all around the world. All of these atrocities deserve extensive media coverage. It's very evident that black lives do not really matter. Cultural and geographical differences should not determine what receives the most media coverage. Also, Sama Lukundi is the current prime minister of the Congo. What is he doing for his people besides nothing? We need to get rid of him, all the outsiders, and other corrupt leaders just like him ruining the African continent. Continent. My people, it is up to us to make noise about this. No one truly cares about us except for us. Airways must be flooded with vivid images and stories of the human sufferings occurring in the Congo. We need to share this to everyone we know, spread awareness, and you can also donate to trustworthy organizations like I Heart Africa and Save the Congo. I also want to add that these wars are funded by the United States, Europe, China, and they're also carried out by Rwanda, Uganda, and Burundi.